What's up boys? So I know I haven't uploaded in a while, and I did make a little community post, but obviously not everybody saw that. So, uh, quick explanation, didn't upload for a week because of work and I didn't really feel like making a video, then I couldn't upload because YouTube decided to strike one of my videos down, a two-year-old video with 300 views, which ironically was about YouTube false striking people, but whatever. And obviously when you get striked, you can't upload for a week. And I kind of got a problem because the, the next two weeks in which I was allowed to upload again, I would be at one week I would be spending at my girlfriend's house and the other week I would be on holiday. So I won't be able to upload then either. However, I did find small bits of time. I will be at my own house this week. So if you're watching this video, I did it guys. I was able to make a video, maybe even two. We'll see how this goes. If, if you're not watching this, then I didn't make the video, obviously. Anyway, uh, Final Fantasy XIV has been announced by Phil Spencer to be coming to Xbox. Previously, this MMO, I think, was only console exclusive to PlayStation. And that obviously has PlayStation fanboys very, very angry. So, you know, let's get right into it. What will happen? Mark my words. Lowest amount of users on the Xbox. Square will announce a year later that they're removing support and won't bother with Xbox again because none of you buy games enough. Yeah, obviously not. I'm sure the game will do just fine on Xbox. I highly doubt that Square will see this as such a disappointment that they're never gonna put any games on Xbox again. If anything, Square and more and more Japanese developers are putting more and more of their games on Xbox and they must be successful. Otherwise, why would they bother to keep putting their games on Xbox? Like if Xbox players aren't interested in JRPGs and aren't buying games, then why would you know Japanese studios who make JRPGs put more and more of their games onto the platform? If anything, uh, studios like Atlas, ever since starting to put the Persona games on Xbox, all they've been doing is putting more and more of their shit on Xbox. They wouldn't be doing that if it's not selling. 10 years for that game, they clearly want to earn extra money and that's why they released on Xbox, just to scratch tickets to an old game. Mate, it's not like they said that they're going to release the original Final Fantasy 7 on Xbox now, it's Final Fantasy 14. Is it a 10 year old game? Yes, but it's also an MMO. It's a game that continuously is receiving updates and new expansions. Do you know what an MMO is? It's essentially a game that could technically live and be relevant forever. Sony trying to decide if they should just pull the trigger and acquire Square Enix. Okay, MBG, uh, cope harder, my guy. First of all, I thought that acquiring publishers and acquiring studios so, was a bad thing that we're not allowed to do. But obviously, you know, if Sony is going to do it, it's fine because I like Sony and I want to suck uh, Sony headquarters cock. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know any people from Sony besides Jim Ryan. But yeah, this is kind of a very pathetic response, obviously. It's like, oh, uh, what is essentially a PlayStation exclusive is now coming to Xbox. Let me pretend like Sony is seconds away from buying the entire company, even though they definitely aren't. But I really didn't expect anything else from the amazing MBG, the guy who cries on livestream when Xbox announces a exclusive he isn't getting or the fact that a game that was previously only on PlayStation is now coming to a different platform. I don't see the Xbox set wanting to spend $12 a month to play a quality game. Yeah, so to all the people saying things like, oh, the Xbox gamers are never gonna play this quality game because they don't want to play games with a subscription model. They would never do that. Have you heard of Xbox Game Pass, my guy? Have you heard of, of that? Because I know you have. And that's something most Xbox gamers do own or own, it's a subscription service they're subscribed to, so I don't see why they would be, you know, willing to subscribe to that, but not to this. Also, if Final Fantasy XIV comes to Game Pass, which it might, you know, none of this would be a problem because then it's already on a subscription service. You fucking dumbass. Get fucking schooled, bitch. Moving on. I thought Xbox officially didn't want the game. What changed? Uh, this is fucking dumb. This is stupid. This um, is mentally, uh, you're, you are mentally crippled. What the fuck do you mean? I, did, I don't know if this is true, okay? For all I know, Xbox actually officially came out and said, we do not want Square Enix games on our platform. I highly doubt it. And that's, that's kind of what makes me question this. Like, why the fuck would Xbox tell Square Enix and the world, hey, 
uh, don't you fucking dare put your MMO on our console. We don't want that shit. Go fuck yourself. That makes no sense. No, they didn't officially fucking say that. That make. Are you dumb? Are you are you okay mentally? Are you? Are you know this is the reason your wife left you. You know that right? Because you're this fucking dumb. And you spent your time on Twitter doing console wars like a little bitch. Their player count will go up by five. Haha, <laughs> funny guys. Funny meme. The joke's still funny after like six years of Xbox doing well and their player count. Or people have Xboxes going up and their games getting better and whatever the fuck. Still funny. Still funny, okay? <laughs> Still funny and very relevant. But I was told that Sony pays to keep Final Fantasy games off of Xbox. Yes, and now Xbox is going out of their way to negotiate with Square Enix and possibly pay them to put those games on Xbox. See, that's how pathetic this shitty industry is and how it works. It's sad, I know. Judging by how many people don't play RPGs on Xbox, it definitely won't do well. Now. Obviously this is bullshit, because first of all, Xbox owns most major Western RPG developers like Bethesda, In Exile, and Obsidian, but obviously there's a demand for JRPGs on Xbox, because otherwise, you know, people wouldn't be asking so goddamn often for JRPGs on Xbox, and when they do come to Xbox, they wouldn't do as well as they do. Because like, again, like I said earlier, Persona came to Xbox, and it did apparently so well that more and more Persona games are coming to Xbox. Hell, the new fucking remakes were even announced in an Xbox show. So they clearly must be selling well. Anyway, boys, I, I think I'm gonna wrap the video up here. I know it's very short, okay? And I could have I could have gone on longer, because there are a lot of people like angry about this or having dumb takes about the game coming to Xbox, but I, sh I just simply don't have the time, okay? I might be able to make another video uh, sometime this week, but just in case, you know, I wouldn't be able to make a longer video I just wanted to be able to put something out before I go on vacation and I didn't upload for like a month I just want to upload something. Okay, so I still I hope you still enjoyed this video um, And if you liked it and you're new like and subscribe all them things and I might be able to I might I might see you in the next video in a couple of days Who knows and if I don't I'll see you in a couple Well, not a couple. I'll see you in like one and a half week Anyway, boys, bye.